What's up everybody, Unbreakable. This is the world quest for Shitara, which is a pet battle in Battle for Azeroth. So, can we defeat Shitara? I have no clue. This thing looks freaking huge for what it is. And uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually scared. I'm actually scared because it's a beast as well. And all right, so this is gonna be interesting. So this one doesn't have a cooldown. This one has a three, this one has a one. All right, cool. Alright, so how this works, uh, 1177 is the health of Shatara. You're probably like, why is it so low? Well, look at the, uh, look at the buff it's got. Unbreakable Shell. Shatara's Unbreakable Shell grows more brittle every time it takes damage. That's what it will say on every single debuff, because the debuff does change. This is the only part that does change. Damage taken reduced by 100% until, that's always there, five attacks are made against Shatara's Shell. Shatana's Shell, sorry. Uh, so how this works, it says Shatana in the debuff and it says Shitara on the, it doesn't matter I'm gonna call it Shitara um so basically how this works is once you've done five attacks guess what well it still has a shell and turns to four attacks turns to three attacks two attacks one attack so you gotta do 15 attacks until you can start dealing damage to this guy so I brought in the team of mine that has as many attacks possible um Ragnaros and Molten Corgi have the same ability so they don't take damage, but they deal a lot of attacks. And Gilded Moth has uh, Moth Balls, which is a one-round cooldown that does a lot of attacks. And that was three, four, five. So I popped this first shell. One-round cooldown, I'm gonna use the uh, Slicing Wind, which does one, just to get that off. And then we're gonna use Moth Balls again. One, two, three, four, five. So we popped it out into the, we broke into four, we popped it into three, we gotta use this again. So now we popped it into two, and now I'm currently stunned, so I gotta pass. Shouldn't take that much damage because again, it's, it, it also is a beast, so most of its moves so we kicks flying. Uh, so mothballs again, as long as it does two more attacks, it should break this first shell. One, now I can start dealing damage. So sh Damage taken increased by 250%. I've broken the shell and damage dealt increased by 100%. So it's going to take a lot of damage. I'm going to go ahead and not survive that. So, plain and simple, if you have a moth or any, uh, usually a moth, if you have any moth that knows moth balls, you can break the shell in just a couple of turns. And I didn't even need Molten Corky or Low Ragnaros, but let's just see what these guys can do. Cause I've, well, I've used, I used to use Low Ragnaros all the time, but I've never used Molten Corky. This is the other strat that I had in mind. I'll go ahead and show you in a second with Puppies of the Flame. We're gonna go ahead and use a Flamethrower to get the burn effect off. Then we're gonna go ahead and dip into Puppies of the Flame and show you what that was all about. Actually, uh, it's, it's, it's already dead. Well, Puppies of the Flame, you know the, you know the drill. It goes down underneath. It does two damage every single turn. Like, it does two attacks every single turn. So I was going to spam it with that, with Ragnaros as well. So that would have been two, four, six, uh, 12 attacks right there and then just between the two. So you can do it either way. Once you've broken the shell, it's pretty much easy. 